how's everybody doing today? So I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of my Huawei Nexus 6P. I finally got it because it was under $400. I bought it for $399. I got it on off of Amazon. I'll put the link below. Now the thing is this phone actually came out almost a year ago. It came out in September of 2015. But there's been so much hype about this phone and the price point was right for me. So I had to go and get it. So let me do a quick unboxing here. And while I'm doing this, let me give you a quick history about Nexus if you're not familiar with it. Basically, Nexus came out, started, it came out in the beginning of like uh, 2010. And their ma first manufacturer was, it was HTC, okay? So this is a Google phone, but it, it was manufactured. I mean, Nexus has several different manufacturers throughout the years, okay? So the first, um, Google first partner with, um, HTC and then it was Samsung then it was LG and the previous model this is the Nexus 6P but the Nexus 6 the manufacturer actually was Motorola okay and now the uh, Nexus 6P now is with the Huawei. Huawei is basically a Chinese brand which I am quite familiar with because I used to live in China I bought several of these Huawei phones but the thing is with the Huawei phones they were not up to par uh, you know opposed to with my Samsung Galaxy S phones or my iPhone so I didn't really even use it like that much, but this phone here has a lot of hype and I want to do a lot of comparisons with this phone as well. So I want to do a, a lot of camera tests, uh, front facing, back facing. So let me go ahead and take this cover off, put this and let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. All right. So here is the box open. Now here is the fast wall adapter. And take note that these, uh, this right here is a, it's a USB Type C connector. Okay. You're probably familiar with the previous version too, the Nexus Six. They came with the regular micro USB um, cable here, which pretty much most of your Androids use this. But now they have the um, USB type C that's going to eventually be the standard soon. It's supposed to be faster in charging as well as in um, data transferring too. So let me go ahead and move that over and let me try to open this up here. Okay, so this is a USB type C to C. You can see it right here. And here's the other cable here. And of course we come with a, basically a SIM ejection tool. Let me go ahead and put that to the side. And here's an instruction manual. Looks like it's just pictures here. Uh, here's the Nexus logo. And check this out, I actually got the gold version. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this up here. And what I'm going to be doing too, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, camera and photo tests, especially with my Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 and my iPhone 6S. Actually, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, hooking it up to these, this bad boy here. So you'll be able to see a side-by-side -side comparison in regards to photos, uh, video, the front facing, as well as the back facing. But here we go with the phone. And I thought this is really cool too, the fingerprint scanner is on the back it's not like on the front it feels good now i definitely like the back here it kind of seems familiar similar to my iphone 6s here kind of has that same feel to it and i like this because it doesn't leave fingerprints like my samsung galaxy s7 it looks really premium on the back here but the thing is you know smudge marks especially with me i have sweaty hands so there's always smudge marks on here so i have I typically just put a case on here all the time because it just looks nasty. Um, let's see, another thing that I like about this too is the speakers are in front. Let me go ahead and just boot this up. We'll see what the battery percentage is since this has been in um, the box for more than a year now. But um, the speakers are in front. Now with the Samsung Galaxy S7, the speakers are on the bottom right. Okay, the same with the 
iPhone success is on the right. The thing about like the issue with that is, you know, typically when I'm laying in bed, I hold the phone like this. So I'm covering the speakers or sometimes I turn it over like this and my finger here is covering the uh, speakers here as well. So I want to see how this works out for me. I definitely like that. There's actually two speakers and this is just like the previous uh, Nexus 6. They had the speakers here on the top, on the top and the bottom. The thing is when the Samsung Galaxy S5 came out, the speakers were actually on the back here. And I thought that was cool until I started playing music and I would set my phone down and then the the music and everything would sound muffled. So I wasn't too fond of that. And this is really cool. I mean, having two speakers on here. And this is my first Nexus phone, guys. So let's kind of see where the battery percentage is. Okay, I mean, it looks like it's about like at halfway here. Front side camera here takes photos at eight megapixels. Opposed to the um, iPhone 6S and the S7, they're both max megapixels is only five megapixels. Now, of course, all three of these phones can record on the back facing camera at 4K. And I can't wait to do some comparison tests on that. And in regards to photos, the back facing camera can take pictures at 12.3 megapixels. And with the 6S and the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7, it is at 12 megapixels. Now another thing to note is the screen size is quite large on here. It is uh, the display size from here to here is 5.7 inches. If you're familiar with the iPhone uh, 6S Plus, it is 5.5 opposed to uh, the 6P here, which is 5.7 inches. So it's a little bit bigger. And I can just give you a quick comparison between my S7 and this Nexus 6P is definitely larger. I mean, the display screen size on my S7 is only 5.1 inches. So you can pretty much see the difference. See the difference here. And if you're interested in a iPhone 6S, and the iPhone 6S sits at 4.7 inch display size, display size from here to here. Okay. Okay, so you can see that it is actually at 55% battery percentage. And so far I definitely have to feel, I'm gonna be using this as my main driver for a while now. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of other tests, reviews, regards the camera, pretty much the uh, whole nine yards. And I will be getting a lot of um, cases too, because I just prefer actually having a case on these phones. And let me just show you the cases that I have too, if you guys are interested in. Um, I have a ton of cases and I get all my cases free. Oh yeah, one more thing. Hey, these are all gold. Pretty cool. Anyways, in regards to my cases, actually I get a ton of stuff free on Amazon. And let me just move this stuff over because I think this is just like really good info uh, for a lot of you out there. If you ever read an Amazon review and people are like, I, re you know, um, I received this product for free or at a um, discount for an honest review. This is what they do, okay? I'll place a link below, but you go to a website and you sign up and you know you have to basically just request to, um, uh, these products. And like just about most of the stuff in here I got is free. This is only some of the stuff I got in the past month, okay? Uh, most of it's free, some of it was like 10 cents. It's all free shipping. Um, some of it was heavily discounted. But now I'm at a point where I've been doing this for so long that I'm literally getting, I mean, I have like seven boxes like downstairs I haven't even opened yet. I have so much stuff like coming in and a lot of these stuff I haven't even opened yet. Like look, look at these cases. I mean, I have, and like 90% of the stuff in here is absolutely free. And I have tons of other stuff, cables, um, wireless chargers, um, look at this Google Cardboard virtual reality. I have other virtual reality headsets. I have Bluetooth headphones. I just got this in the other day, this uh, octopus tripod. I got a battery case for my S7. Tons of other cases here. There's wires. I got some, I have like seven selfie sticks. I have like eight different uh, gaming headsets. I have tons of Bluetooth. And majority of it was pretty much free, which is pretty cool. But I'm getting to the point where 
is just beginning to like pile up now. So I'm gonna start slowing down. Anyways, I'll put a link below if you guys are interested in getting stuff um, for free or heavily discount on Amazon. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys just uh, go ahead and subscribe and watch the next videos, I'm gonna be doing some camera tests using this bad boy that I invented, which I'm pretty proud of. All right, thanks for watching, guys.